In my day-to-day as a business intelligence consultant, I'm often approached by individuals who work at companies that don't have any serious business intelligence operations in place. They make all their decisions using stale or out-of-date information, or worse, making decisions based on a hunch rather than supporting evidence due to a lack of insights. Many of these people have no experience in terms of what's possible with a business intelligence tool and even the types of problems that it's solving. So let's take a look at what a BI tool does and some of the problems that it solves. There's quite a bit here and changing your company can be difficult. I know that it's hard to make significant organizational changes, but maybe it's harder to keep the status quo than continuously doing business in the dark. You know what they say, hard work never killed anyone, but why take the chance? I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Let's start with the general goal of business intelligence and then talk about how specific problems are addressed. Data is used by companies to answer questions about their past and their present, which enables them to better see into the future. Companies that implement business intelligence can track metrics key to the organizational success and work towards goals based on information. In short, getting timely and accurate, concise information in the hands of people who can benefit from it. The end result of business intelligence is typically a dashboard, which should provide you with an easy to consume overview of the metrics leading to our key goals. Now notice how I'm using words like concise, easy, short. This is how you need to think about dashboards. If the dashboard that you're designing is a scrollable 15 page table of data, it's very unlikely that a decision maker is gonna actually be able to come to any obvious conclusions. Look at it this way. This is a dashboard that's very well designed. First, you can see that we clearly illustrate three main goals of the company and the supporting detail behind these goals. These goals are supported by the key metrics that directly impact the success of these goals. We also include general executive summary here to help everyone understand the pulse of the organization all in one place. Now, as a quick aside, this here is not an actual dashboard. Sadly, this is what about 80% of the people who implement BI tend to build. If the focus is on providing data dumps, you're probably not getting into the details of what people actually do with this data. You need to ask questions and understand why they want this information. They don't want to drink from the fire hose. They probably just haven't really sat down and understand what sort of questions or actionable insights they're looking for on a regular basis. It's there. You just got to find it. BI and dashboards should provide actionable insights so that corporate decisions are based on fact rather than just assumption. And because of these benefits that I just mentioned, this type of display is typically one of the goals for business intelligence. Now, these dashboard displays are great because they can be opened directly in a browser, they can be embedded in a company portal or website, or simply on a phone if you're about to run into a meeting and maybe even up on a wall board on a TV, so for all to see and in real time, providing updates. Information should be at your fingertips. Now, how many times do we hear about companies who have full-time employees whose job is to build quarterly or monthly reports again and again, usually in Excel? Now, wouldn't it be so much nicer if they could build a dashboard once and have it automatically updated with fresh data flowing into it? so that anyone who wants to see this information can just get it without waiting till the end of the reporting cycle? We think so. If you can build a dashboard once, you can have these report writers build new dashboards focusing on new areas of the business rather than doing the same repetitive work. Let's put their skills to better use. Now, another goal of business intelligence is to empower users to do exploratory work or what we call self-service using a BI tool. There's actually a ton of ways to facilitate different forms of self-service, and it's completely possible to provide users with a sanitized and trusted data source, allowing them to simply look for insights and giving them the ability to group, filter, sort, classify, and even apply formulas without necessarily getting into the data too deep, being a programmer, or even building a full dashboard. They can simply explore using tools that are provided for them. Now, by the way, This type of dashboard usually gets to the heart of a lot of the data issues that business intelligence seeks to solve. 
Many companies lack a centralized repository for data, and instead, employees are out there making their own repositories, usually in Excel, and coming to their own conclusions. Now look, I love the wild, wild west, but this isn't healthy for an organization because data requires proper governance. And you can't have everybody out there doing their own thing and potentially publishing incorrect conclusions based on poor data or poor understanding of the data. Business intelligence tools, or at least good ones, are able to solve these problems and get rid of that chaos by providing one source of the truth. Someone needs to take the time and solve data issues with the various tools that are provided through a business intelligence tool so that everything's sanitized, checked for accuracy, and certified for and even performant. Now, every one of these things is important, and it's simply not good enough to lack a single source of the truth or have a company that has complete distrust in their data. BI solves all of these problems. So speaking of data and having a single source of the truth, data problems are kind of a bane of BI implementations. If you want to have any of the different types of dashboards that I just showed you, you need to make sure that first, you have the tools to properly address data issues. Now, a complete BI tool like Dundas BI will give you all these tools to solve these problems in one place. As an example, you could tackle performance problems by implementing a data warehouse or an in-memory warehouse. You could join together multiple differing systems from different locations and bring them to one place to make things more manageable. You could solve data integrity issues by applying rules and scripts to make sure that your data is uniform and ready to go when it comes to reporting. You can add structure to your data so that end users can drill down or drill through. Or you might even perform specific calculations ranging from very simple to advanced data processing such as machine learning or AI. These functions are there. You can even set up data input to allow your users to feed information back into the system and record it over time. You can implement data security policies to make sure that user level or role level security is in place to make sure that only the people who should have access get what they're entitled to see. You could even anonymize data to allow your users to view sensitive information without necessarily seeing specific detail. Great for people like healthcare, where you have patient data and you shouldn't be allowed to see specifics about the patient, but working in aggregate can provide you a lot of information. And after you've done all of this data work, you can either look at pre-built dashboards like I showed you, or get into some of that governed self-service style, which is great. There's literally a mountain of capabilities here in a BI tool, as I think you're probably starting to see. So we talked about data, and we talked about different ways that users might consume information. And there's a lot more that a BI tool can do, mainly collaboration. Now it's great, to have BI systems to give users the ability to discover insights, but this way we can share with other users or perhaps publish it to PowerPoint so that we can go out into a presentation. You could even put comments on dashboards that you've got to provide other users deeper contextual information. This way they'll have a better understanding of some of the behind the scenes information about what's going on through a note or an annotation. So I know I just threw a lot at you, and as you can see, BI platforms can solve a lot of problems, and they really can revolutionize your organization and the way you do business as a whole. So let's do a quick recap of some of the benefits. Or we could just put it this way. Enterprise business intelligence systems like Dundas BI are huge and contain a staggering amount of functionality. Do you need it all? Probably not. Do you need to learn absolutely everything the system has to offer? Again, probably not. But one thing that I can say is that once you start, your needs are gonna change and grow, and your users are gonna demand more and more. So having a robust BI tool that can grow with you is an absolute necessity. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about why data visualization in general is important, check out a video that I've already done called The Benefits of Visualizing Data. It's well worth your time. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.